Hey, today I thought we'd take a look at uh, Disney Fireball. This is the Drossel figure from the uh, TV anime series, uh, Drossel von Flugel. The, uh, the back story on this, let me read this to you real quick in case you don't know what Drossel is. Uh, the show takes place in the 49th millennium and revolves around the happenings inside a giant manor inhabited by two robots, which is Drossel von Flugel. And this is funny, the title of her full name is the 19th Lord of Uranus Kingdom's Tempest Domain. And uh, more or less what it is, the worlds are destroying themselves. And it's Drossel and her uh, other robot sit around and make cute comments and different things goes on. But my oldest daughter seems to enjoy it. Uh, she was wanting a Drossel figure for a while and for some reason or other these have just skyrocketed in the last year. The Soul of Chukokin one is pushing 200 bucks now. The Figma or Max Factory is 120 to 150 and this was made by a Good Smile company and this one retails for 50. I got lucky and found it for 30 with free shipping I guess but um, anyway we'll take a quick look at it here. Uh, you can see the DS it's a good detail figure as far as play value I wouldn't recommend this for younger kids uh, it comes with a stand the stand actually has a ball joint on it where you can turn it left or right for for different uh, for different poses here's her uh, one of her uh, head gears and everything on here is also posable uh, we'll take a look at the uh, the stand here the stand actually just grabs her around the waist and holds her up that uh, you can see that uh, all these you can move these back and forth actually she comes with uh, a couple of different accessories here you change out the ones for the uh, I don't know what you call them I guess they're ponytails and actually this is the uh, the second set you can see the detail on this real good also Actually, this is called a power flight headgear, and you can see the wings come out, and these are supposed to be thrusters. You can see a small spring up in there, and there's a tiny switch here that activates the mechanism to push that out. And uh, it pegs in the back of the head, and this also has articulation on it where you can move it left and right, up and down. And uh, there you can see one while it's concealed with. Uh, with it put up you can see the detail and the markings on it there let me see if I can find that small switch there it is all right and there's with both of the wings out and here's what it looks like and pegged in the back of Drossel's head it uh, it's pretty neat it makes it real heavy too, but the uh, the stand seems to work well with it to hold it together. And uh, she comes with one more headgear accessory, and it kind of looks like a an accessory that Chun Li would wear. But uh, this is combat headgear for Drossel, which is pretty neat. And I don't know if I showed this at the beginning or not, but it comes with. Uh, several different variations of legs on ball joints different arms different poses closed fist different hands different arms and different hands with openings on them but uh, it has one more thing it's pretty neat if I can get my my finger back here on it it has a uh, it has two LED lights for eyes which is uh, which I thought was pretty neat too yeah Let me turn the light off I thought that's pretty neat Yeah, like I said, it's real detailed. The uh, 
the box that it comes in, you know, like I said, it's an import. The only thing I can recognize on it is Disney and a few numbers. And the box itself is almost on the inside, like a diorama of her room or something. You can see on the back here, it's a good smile company. So, uh, yeah, she seems to enjoy it. The, uh, the stand that it comes with is pretty nice too. And the, uh, the LED for the eyes is uh, also a bonus. You can see the, uh, what the back cover looks like there. But if you're a Drossel fan, you can find it for pretty cheap, which, you know, 30 bucks may sound like a whole lot, but when you're considering it retails for right around 50, uh, I'd recommend this for uh, for uh, older kids, uh, but not for younger kids. As far as play value, they may uh, they may wind up breaking a lot of uh, a lot of the smaller pieces on this one. Uh, but uh, that's all I got today.